Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 6, A Golden Crown. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe we'll see someone new on this map. I just noticed the deer is at King's Landing. I just noticed that. I wrote that down. The ah. That was a weird place, man. I feel like it showed Winterfell in the last one, but we we never went there. Nah, that's where um the dude who killed John Wayne's dog was with that girl. Oh, when they say it always changes, I think this one was is pretty similar to the last one, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think that one changed at all. Maybe the story takes place in the exact same places. That's not who you want to see standing over you. Or him at this point. I know. Because they seem all united now. Your pardon, your grace. I would rise, but... Do you know what your wife has done? She did nothing I did not command. By what right dare you lay hands on my blood? I am the king's hand. You were the king's the hand. Peace and oh, well, both of you shut your mouths. Catelyn will release Tyrion, and you'll make your peace with Jaime. What? Lord Stark was returning drunk from a brothel. Quiet, woman. <laughs> Give me leave to bring him back to justice. I took you for a king. He's attacked one of my brothers and abducted the other. I should wear the armor and you the gown. Oh. <laughs> I, mm. You know what I'm saying though? I don't know. I mean, I don't condone it, but that is the king. Like what? You know, I don't live there. She'll wear this like a badge of honor. <laughs> there is Toxic. A silence or I'll honor you again. <laughs> I mean, she says some loose stuff now. I, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> respect is a two-way street for sure. My loving wife. I know, she's back there just hyping him up. <laughs> Get him, Robert. That was not kingly. If we don't act, there will be a war. Tell your wife to return that little imp to King's Landing. Send a raven and put an end to it. What about Jamie? I'm half a kingdom in debt to his bloody father. Oh, God. Oh, no. I can't rule the kingdoms if the Starks and the Lannisters are at each other's throats. Well, then speak kinder to him. <laughs> I will return to Winterfell. Send a raven. I want you to stay. Oh, I'm the God. King. I get what I want. Oh. Just let the man go home. I never loved my brothers. Sad thing for a man to admit, but it's true. You were the brother I chose. We'll talk when I return from the hunt. Oh, he just made him be the it. The hunt clears my head. You'll have to sit on the throne while I'm away. Targaryen girl. Don't start with her again. The girl will die and I'll hear no more of it. Put on the badge. And if you ever take it off again, I'll pin the damn thing on Jamie Lannister. <laughs> At this point, I don't think he would care. He just wants to go home. I know. He's like, let's take me back to Winterfell. I'm right. tired. I don't want to be here. You say, y'all are some gross, slimy individuals down here, bro. Oh, look at her. Aren't those basically fossils? And she's just staring at them all the time. Right. I think a boot top's about to pop out. Oh, she's about to bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gathered from that. Right. Oh, yeah. she's trying to cook it. She's doing some experiments, I guess. I think you're supposed to bowl it, Khaleesi. <gasps> she just picked it up like that? <gasps> She's good. <gasps> but it burnt the tar out of her. Why did it burn her? Mm, maybe she has some superpowers. That was weird. Is this another dream? <laughs> oh, we put him on a horse. When are you going to tell him? Not now. You need to make the Lannisters pay for Jory and the others. You're talking about war. I'm not a boy anymore. They attach your father. They've already started the war. And it's not your duty because it's not your house. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> stop trying to start a war. He's just trying to be gung ho, right? <laughs> I don't know. That's Is he going to fight in it? If he's about to fight in it, then, like, let's go. There's Bran. Oh, no. It's not my house. Oh, I'd slap him. <laughs> Why is he just running off, though? Oh, my gosh. Who are all these random people who just <laughs> attack people? I know. Like, people just run up on you. <gasps> all alone in the deep, dark woods. I'm not alone. My brother is with me. I don't see him. Oh, you about to see him. Get down. I can't. The saddle. The straps. I'm Brandon Stark of Winterfell. If you don't let me be, I'll have you all killed. Ah. Boys worth nothing dead. They're going as far south as south goes. There ain't no white walkers down in dawn. Oh, there they go. Let him go Two bees. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she just clubbed him? Yeah, she's not very smart, is she? <gasps> Drop the blade. Do it. Oh, where's the other dude? Is he going to pop up behind him? Oh my God, please. Oh my gosh. 
Whew. It's a good shot. Let's go. Not his house, but he's still going to help you out. Yeah, he better. Or he's going to have his head cut off. That's what they do on the show. They cut your head yeah, off. Yeah, for, for anything. Mess up. Off with your head. Are you all right? It doesn't hurt. They mess his saddle up, though. I'd be pissed. In the Iron Islands, you're not a man until you've killed your first enemy. Well done. Have you lost your mind? What have you missed? He would have killed you and cut Brand's throat. You don't have the right to... to what? To save your brother's life? It was the only thing to do, so I did it. What about her? <gasps> Give me my life, my lord, and I'm yours. We'll keep her alive. <laughs> Bro, are they about the main character of this girl? Why are we gonna keep her up? I mean, she I just tried no to she just tried to fight them. <gasps> maybe that's whoa. We just talked about this. Like, how did he do that? But maybe they're keeping her because that's the show's way of like finding out more information about who they are. Maybe. Because I sure as heck don't know. Oh my right. god, dude, that's a whole prison. That's six blocks right there. Mark! Ain't as bad as Gwinnett County though. <laughs> Would you like to be rich? Dwarf man still making noise. We have gold, lots of gold. I'm prepared to give you lots of gold. He said no gold. Oh, <laughs> he did say no gold. Don't have it here. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What in the heck? Like, what kind of Bro, I guess it. <laughs> wow. So he's just in jail? Oh, she's depressed. <laughs> I don't want to practice today. No. They killed George. Father is hurt. I don't care about stupid wooden swords. You are troubled. Good. Trouble is the perfect time for train. And you're not here. <laughs> you're with your trouble. If you're with your trouble when fighting happens, <laughs> more trouble for yeah. you. How can you be quick as a snake? <laughs> or as quiet as a shadow? She's getting better. When you are somewhere else. You are fearing for your father. Hmm? Do you pray to the gods? The old and the new. There is only one god, and his name is death. And there is only one thing we say to death. Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> He's a wise master. Ugh. What is she eating? A heart? I'm gonna throw up. Bro, I like staying over there, like, on the other continent. Hope that wasn't mine. She's doing well. Dude, what if she can't even eat that much, though? Oh, my lord. Look at him. My wife right there. His enemies will cower before him. Their wives will weep tears of blood. She's going to have a boy. He won't be a real Targaryen. He won't be a true dragon. A true dragon? <laughs> Does she hold it? Dang. What a custom. Like, no thanks. She said, mmm. Tasted just like some, some ramen noodles. Ugh. Stallion who mounts yes. the world. Kyle of cows. All the people of the world will be his herd. World conquer, huh? Mm-hmm. But yeah, she is liked by all of them, including him. <laughs> Well, yeah, because they like him and he chooses her. So what's not to like about her? Him, though. He's like a little weasel. Where'd he go? Probably pouting. How's he just going to snag him? Oh, is he thieving that thing? Don't let them see you carrying a sword in Vyas Dothrak. You know the law. It's not my law. They don't belong to you. If I sell one egg, I'll have enough to buy a ship. Two eggs, a ship, and an army. And you have all three. I need a large army. Oh, he mm -hmm. wants to take it himself. The greatest dynasty this world has ever seen on my shoulders since I was five years old. And no one has ever given me what they gave to her in that tent. He's oh, jealous. Pieces. How can I carry what I need to carry without it? Who can rule without wealth or fear or love? You stand there all nobility and honor. You don't think I see you looking at my little sister. Don't think I know what you want. I don't care. You can have her. You can dine on whichever parts of her you like. But let me go. I wasn't getting that vibe from him, but... You can't have the eggs. You swore an oath to me. Does loyalty mean nothing to you? It means everything to me. And yet here you stand. And yet here I stand. Oh, jeez. Soft. <laughs> How are you going to conquer the world, bro? And and you can't even stand up to this old dude right here. <laughs> you, don't even, like, you, don't... you ain't a king. Bro. He said, fine, I'll drop the egg. <laughs> and Tyrion wants to get slapped up by that guy again. <laughs> I just feel for this little dude. Cause I, I genuinely don't know if he had anything to do with that. Now go. Listen to me. Sometimes possession is an abstract <laughs> concept. <laughs> when they captured me, they took my purse, but the gold is still mine. 
Where? Don't know where, but they free me. You want free? Go be free. <laughs> no thanks. Have you ever heard the phrase "rich as a Lannister"? Of course you have. Oh, he has heard You're it. A oh my gosh. Smart man. <laughs> you know who the Lannisters are. I am a Lannister. Tyrion, son of Tywin. You have also heard the phrase a Lannister always pays his debts. I keep hearing that a lot, so yeah. You deliver a message from me. Mm -hmm. Lady Oh Anne, no. <laughs> I will be in your debt. I will owe you gold. <laughs> if you deliver the message and I live, which I very much intend to do. What message? Oh. <laughs> Tell her I wish to confess my crimes. Maybe he did it. I, I or maybe know. he's just trying to like get out of that dungeon. <laughs> I do, my lady. Sky cells always break them. Speak, imp. Meet your gods as an honest man. Where do I begin, my lords and ladies? I am a vile man. My crimes and sins are beyond counting. I have lied and cheated, gambled and <laughs> <laughs> I'm not particularly good at violence, but I'm good at convincing others to do violence for me. You want specifics, I suppose. When I was seven, I saw a servant girl bathing in the river. I stole her robe. And she was forced to return to the castle naked and in tears. <laughs> When I was 10, He's just playing. I stuffed my <laughs> uncle's boots with goat shit. Oh, jeez. I do believe my sister ate. At least I hope she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Honeycomb into a brothel. Silence! What happened next? <laughs> <laughs> Confessing my crime. <laughs> <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> and of conspiring to murder my sister's husband, Lord John Aaron. I'm very sorry. I don't know anything about all that. You've had your little joke. I trust you enjoyed it. Maud, take him back to the dungeon. This time find a smaller cell. Is this how justice is done in the veil? You accuse me of crimes. I deny them. So you throw me into a cell to freeze and starve. I am accused and demand a trial. I mean, if you yeah. tried and found guilty, then by the king's own laws, you will pay with your life. Understand the law. Open the moon door. <laughs> Why was he clapping like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, do you throw people down there? You want to trial, my Lord Lannister? That's so scary. Very well. My son will listen to whatever you have to say, and you will hear his judgment. Then you will leave. Him? By one door or the other. Oh my god, he's gonna choose that one. <laughs> he likes that one. Demand trial by combat. What? Oh. You have that right. My lady, I beg the honor. The honor should be mine. Oh, easy money. For the love I bore your lord husband, let me avenge his death. Savardis, <laughs> you're quiet. Did you want to avenge my husband? Dang. With all my heart, my lady. But the imp is half my size. Shameful to slaughter such a man and call it justice. Agreed. You demanded <laughs> a trial by combat. Now I demand a champion. I would gladly. Oh, Mr. Pick, pick some money? Champion. I wouldn't be too glad, sir. I name my brother, Jamie Lannister. The Kingslayer is hundreds of miles from here. I'm happy to wait. The trial will be today. She is tyrannical, bro. Oh my god, he's gonna have to Do fight. I have a volunteer. <laughs> they will pay him, right? They always repay their debts, right? Anyone. I kind of hope that kid gets thrown out. Me too. He's annoying. I think we can assume that no one is willing to- I'll stand for the dwarf. Bro, of course you will. You want some of that pocket change. <laughs> 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 Who is that? That guy's been in like the background and stuff. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, <laughs> he ain't said oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, what was I saying? Wasn't it simpler, tell me? And he was right there in the open, vicious as you like, all but sending you a bloody invitation. Sounds exhilarating. <laughs> as exhilarating old times. as those balls and masquerades you like to throw. <laughs> those were the days. The ones where half of Westeros fought the other half and millions died. All before that, when the mad king slaughtered women and babies because the voices in his head told him they deserved it. Or way before that, when dragons burned whole cities to the ground. Easy, boy. You're speaking to the king. I suppose it was all rather heroic if you were drunk enough. Dang. Everyone's just talking crazy to him right now. Why, your grace? They're sick of him. Maybe because things are like falling apart and things are brewing and he's too busy shoving his face. Reminiscing. Drinking wine. Talking junk. They burned most everything in the Riverlands. They took our women, butchered them as if they were animals. They covered our children in pitch and lit them on fire. Brigands, most likely. They weren't thieves. 
They even left something behind. It's the king's hand you're addressing, not the king. The king is hunting. Ah. Fish. The schedule of House Tully. Isn't that your wife's house? Tully, my lord hand. These men. Why do I feel like he's being smart? Are they flying a sigil? A banner? None, your hand. The one who was <laughs> leading them, taller by a foot than any man I've ever met, saw him take the head off a horse with a single swing of his sword. The mountain. You're describing Sir Gregor Clegane. I've heard him called Tywin Lannister's mad dog. I'm sure you have as well. Can you think of any reason the Lannisters might possibly have for being angry with your wife? Oh, so that big old guy did it. They sent him mm -hmm. to attack the villain. Okay. That's what it seems like. Would be... That would be almost as brazen as attacking the hand of the king in the streets of the capital. Yes, yeah, so they're lashing out, basically. I cannot give you back your homes, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king, Robert. Lord Beric Dondarrion, assemble 100 men and ride to Sir Gregor's keep. As you command. Bro, he's on a cane now. I mean, I sort of figured that when they stabbed him right through his knee. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I charge you to bring the King's justice to the false knight, Gregor Clegane. I denounce him, I strip him of all ranks, and sentence him to death. My lord. Oh, wow. That's when you're like manager for a day and you fire somebody? It would be better to wait for King Robert's return. Send a raven to Casterly Rock. Inform Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. He will arrive within the fortnight or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. Oh my gosh. He's like making moves, right? He's taking that power position and he's saying, I'm not leaving. Is he about to just take the throne? Hey, well, he's taking the throne right now because Robert's on. Well, yeah, but he's making moves and he doesn't seem to care, but maybe he's about to take it for good. Tywin Lannister is the richest man in all the Seven Kingdoms. Gold wins wars, not soldiers. And how come Robert is king? Not Tywin Lannister. Yeah, that's true. I was about to say, that's not true. Fight! Oh my gosh. So they just have to fight to death right now? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be volunteering for her either then. And you don't have like a court or anything? You can just run up the stairs? Right. Stand and fight, coward! <laughs> Kicked her decor over. That's right. And he is on a full night's gear. He doesn't even have a helmet on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That little kid's just giggling. I know. Why does he think it's so funny? Maybe he'll just dot. He'll like duck and he'll just run up <laughs> off in that hole. I want to be on the second floor. <laughs> Enough, Sabardis. Finish him. Nah, he's stabbed now. Critical condition. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Is he gonna toss him down there? He's about to finish him right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, look at that little kid still smiling. He doesn't care who wins um, or loses. That was so gruesome. Yeah, you owe him some money. Is it over? You don't fight with honor. Mm -mm, don't start now. He, no. what do you mean? He did. <laughs> Fair enough. Like he wants to club him in the head, don't he? No, -uh, he's about to be rich because of him. Can I make the little man fly now? This little man is going home. I believe you have something of mine. The dagger? Nope. <laughs> his purse. Oh, his money. <laughs> well. Dang, he was basically like, what was that about? So a trial by combat. They gave it to him. Oh, wow. <laughs> so basically a trial by combat means like if you're accused of something, you can just get someone to fight. And if they win, you're innocent. I guess. Oh, that's crazy as hell. <laughs> you wear your hair like a real Southern lady now. I'm not sure your mother would like these new styles. What do you care? Do you even have hair under there? <laughs> yes. I have hair. I've never seen it. Would you like to? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from anyway? The north or the south? The north. I come from a very small oh, village. Wait. In a... I, was I just guessing. realized 
I don't care. Santa. Accept her. Now you are being rude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. My prince. My prince. I fear I have behaved monstrously the past few weeks. To put it lightly. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Babe, I'm afraid I've behaved monstrously. <laughs> <laughs> the past few weeks. Few weeks. It's beautiful. You'll be queen someday. Only fitting you should look the part. Will you forgive me? For my rudeness. There's nothing to forgive. One day we'll be married in the throne room. And you will be queen over all of them. I'll never disrespect you again. She's like, mm hmm I know. She's like. Either because he knows that she's not going to be there or either he's lying. And right. he's really just a tyrant. Because I ain't buying this little. Till my last day. Dang. He didn't talk to her for three weeks and then comes up with that. And she's buying it. I know that'd be like kind of boring if you're him. I'd be like, say something. I tried to have your sister killed. Don't worry about that. Just forget about it. What are you doing? Going to King's Landing. In a turnip cart. Oh, what will happen to me if I stay here? Will I become Lady Greyjoy? I hear Jaime Lannister attack Lord Stark. Every man for 100 miles will be marching off to war soon. And most of them will never come back. Let's go, Stefan. Let me see it one more time. <laughs> Going to miss you. <laughs> All it took was a little coin. It'd be hard to keep up with all those coins. <laughs> just you just riding off on a turnip cart. <laughs> right. I'm sending you both back to Winterfell. What about Joffrey? Are you dying because of your leg? <laughs> please, father, please don't. You can't. I want you back in Winterfell for your own safety. I'm supposed to marry Prince Joffrey. I love him. And I'm meant to be his queen and have his babies. Seven hells. When you're old enough. <laughs> I'll make you a match with someone who's worthy of you. And I want him. He'll be the greatest king that ever was. A golden lion. And I'll give him sons with beautiful blonde hair. Sounds like a cult. <laughs> it's nothing like that old drunk king. Why do you look at her like that? Because she's brainwashed. Yeah, she's too young to know. Like She's in, she's in for a life of misery, basically. She's going to be as miserable as the king and the queen. Right. But that was weird that Joffrey gave her a lion thing when he really is like a Baratheon. Oh, that's what he's looking at. Lord Oris Baratheon, black of hair. Lionel Baratheon, black. Oh, hair. so they're saying that the little weasel Steph dude ain't the real son. Black. Like, did it, oh. I think that's I think that's what he they're just put it together. together. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Bro, he's the only one to put Robert. that out. Like, he's the only one to come up with that. No, I think the hand before him was because remember he was looking into this stuff. Golden head. He's the first one that is a Baratheon with golden hair. So what's the assumption here? She just cheated? I guess, because I guess that's the only thing you really have to go by since you don't have DNA tests. Right, I mean, he's not sitting there assuming that it's the brother, right? Maybe not the brother, but just like... Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's making a scene. Where's my sister? Where is she? Get your hands off me. No one touches the dragon. Carl Drogo! Oh, dude, don't do it. Is he just, like, drunk at this party like that? Right. Carl Drogo says there is a place for you back there. <laughs> that is no place for a king. You are no king. <laughs> so English on him. Keep away from me. Viserys, please. There she is. He's doing all that hissing. They can't shed blood in there. Sacred city, but I can. Oh no. I want the crown he promised me. I mean, that's kind of bold of him, right? Yeah. Tell him I want what was bargained for, or I'm taking you back. He can keep the baby. I'll cut it out and leave it for him. No, no, she like man, requeve a fin mori a ti. What's he saying? He says, yes, you shall have a golden crown that men shall tremble to behold. He's going to put it on him and snap his neck. Oh my God. What is he talking about? Is that, that scary? Was what, what, what was promised? He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Kuromai. Ah, no, no, you cannot touch me. I, am I mean, dragon. what did you think was going to happen? What are they going to do that? Oh, they're about to stew him up. Some gold? Look away, Khaleesi. No. But he's the dragon. It's not going to burn him. Gonna tell them. Make them. <laughs> Oh my know, god, man. they're gonna are they gonna throw that on his face? They just threatened to they're about to pour that on his head. And he just threatened to Daddy, cut the baby please. out of her stomach. A crown for king. <gasps> oh, that's the worst oh way to go. Oh my god, that's a... Oh my Oh my god. He was no dragon. That is crazy, bro. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay. okay, go ahead. What do you have to say? Okay, guys, so Game of Thrones is taking off. So apparently that, uh, I think that girl is a dragon lady. Right. I think she's about to get wings, bro. Maybe uh, she's, the, maybe it was never him who's going to get the throne. Maybe she's going to come for it. Guys, I don't know what to say about that. That's wild. And in the beginning, she took a really hot bath. 
Right. Maybe. Totally fine. Touched that boiling hot egg or, you know, she tried to poach that egg basically. Grabbed it, didn't even get burnt crazy. And it burnt the crap out of that, her assistant. Right. Oh, wow. So what happened in this episode? A lot of stuff happened. Tyrion got off, so we learned what a trial by combat was. Right. Very bizarre concept. Um, I'm not sure why that place was called the Veil that he was at. It was called the Veil. The Eerie was the Veil. Not sure what that is in relation to any of that. Does it count as one of the Seven Kingdoms? I don't know. Yeah, no idea about that. Um, no. So, man, really in this story, the biggest development was Tyrion got off because he proved his innocence because another man beat another man in a trial by combat, I guess. And, and he didn't confess to the crimes because uh, I'm getting the vibe he didn't do it. Well, I don't really think he did it either. I, like, you know, somebody said in the comment that Tyrion has a good heart. People with good hearts don't really commit murder. So, well, obviously he didn't do it. Right. Well, right? well, I don't think he had someone do it either. I don't think I used to think he had someone try to kill Bran and give him that knife. But I'm starting to believe that he was kind of set up in a way. The thing that confuses me is I'm not really sure if the family is setting him up but the brother really seemed to want him back. Yeah, that's why I'm starting to get the vibe that it, it might have been not been any of them. So maybe the queen has something to do with that. And maybe she's hiding that from Jamie, which is also like her brother lover. So I could see how that could get really complicated. So this story is really kind of getting all over the place. And and Jamie's like hard to understand because like he doesn't have like a wife and stuff, right? Does he even have kids of his own? Like, is he just like the ultimate side piece and like like I don't know. I guess that lifestyle, man, you don't really, you know, get a family. Get a family i don't know that's just the vibe i got with ned right joffrey's cool he's cool with um sansa again so all he had he's like i'm so sorry my lady i've been monstrous and she's like i love him uh so i can totally see the teenage girl parallels there for sure right and maybe maybe he's straightening out but i don't know i doubt it i don't know he he seemed like and he was ignoring her for weeks like it seems like he was just doing that to show some good face or something i hate to say not a lot happened because so much happened but right i think the biggest thing of this episode was like ned's in trouble Absolutely, he's in like trouble. his family's in trouble, all of it. Yeah, and like it's just a matter of time something crazy happens. It's like, the queen for me, Cersei. She is such a little devil, dude. Like she's so willing to just almost like protect her family in any type of way. Like just the narratives that she's willing to put forth, you know. Like, but I, I feel like all of them are like that in a way with their families. Like you heard Ned immediately when she was like, my wife did nothing I didn't command. And he had no idea his wife did that. Remember? Well, he was just having her back because yeah. he was saying like. But that's his family and he was sticking up for her. Right. I understand that. But he also agreed with her, though. He wasn't like morally against yeah. his wife's decision, I guess. Right. But, you know, a part of me thinks, am I supposed to like the king? Am I not supposed to like the king? Am I supposed to sympathize with the king? And I'll be honest with you, I don't really like him. I understand that he recognizes the evilness inside of the queen, right? right. And so I appreciate that. But at the same time, you are the king, man. And like, he's just so... So is he the type of personality that basically he just needs war to be happy? Now that Maybe. he's just fat and happy, he's not fat and happy. You know, I, don't, he's bored. I don't know what to make of him. I just know he basically needs his wife. They said what keeps the kingdom together. And then she jokingly said our marriage and they laughed. But I think that really... He needs her because they need she needs the money he needs the money to provide for all his habits and his craziness and yeah it seems like the thing holding the kingdoms together is nothing but blessings and happenstance because if things keep going the way they're going obviously things are going to fall apart but you know it's very apparent the reason that everything seems to be coming to a head is very weak leadership from the king. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't you agree? Yeah. He just seen he's just so lost in a bottle that it's like it's just hard to imagine him caring or getting ahead of anything. But he is very concerned about the Targaryen girl, though. Right. He is very and, concerned about and that. And that is like strange because it seems as if he's the only one. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's almost like it would it'd be easy to say, well, maybe paranoia is catching in or paranoia is catching up, but at the same time, they're really emphasizing that. It's important because it's a TV show. So we right. know that it's going to be important. But it'd be really easy to say, oh, just don't worry about it. But he recognizes that things are changing. And, you know, they're saying that, like, winter is coming and all yeah. that. And, I, you know, the way I keep interpreting that is basically change is about to happen. Mm. Like, everything was chilling. And then here we are. We dive into the show. And everything's basically about to hit the fan. So. Right. And we also learned, like, a few more things about, like, kind of the lore. Like, we learned that a lot of the lineage is based upon, like, your hair color. So um, Baratheons all had brown hair. And we found out that in that book that Joffrey was the only one of the Baratheons that didn't. Right. 
which mm-hmm. was the thing that came, the hand of the king was looking for, um, the answers to that maybe um, before he died. And I think that's also what Ned is taking interest in. And that's basically relevant because that really throws into question who has the legitimate claim to the throne, right? And that's why that is so relevant. And it, it's kind of coming as if the the person who was looking into it the most, asking the right questions, got killed off. But it's almost like anyone who knows the king knows he is not like a faithful man. Like Everyone right. knows that he's going to have children out of wedlock. That shouldn't be a surprise. Right. I don't know, man. And that, really that sure. part's a little confusing. But when in the lore, we learned that um, the Lannisters, like they're the rich ones, but we learned that there's sigils and we learned that theirs is a lion. Absolutely. And they use that Starts a lot wolf, in this the one. Yes. Wolf. The Baratheon is, I don't know if it's this, did they say stag or deer? But um, anyways, that was some of the lore we learned. And I think that that's going to go, that's going to be important because they keep making references about pulling like lion tails and stuff like that i think like just knowing that is going to be important because those small references that are like weird that i don't really understand but i'm sure like with knowing that you will another direction babe is what about ned's other son uh bran what's up with him he's learning to be a warrior on horseback right he was almost kidnapped uh i like the other son uh i don't remember two the bees. other son name yeah two bees two bees yeah. yeah i like two bees he seems to have a lot of leadership qualities but i don't really know what's going on with their storyline they're basically holding down winterfell right now right. while their dad is in king's landing so and for some reason that Greyjoy guy has to stay there because of like war like so he's their warden i don't know what a warden exactly is right. i'm almost sure you guys like can their tell servant us. maybe right I'm not sure if he's a prisoner or if he's choosing to be there because he seems like both. Maybe his dad offered him in service. Maybe. Maybe. So something that I'm starting to pick up on is maybe two bees up in Winterfell and uh, the other guy, the Greyjoy guy. Maybe they're going to have to really lead a coalition of soldiers to march down south to like, I don't know, man, rescue Ned or to help Ned take the throne. Like basically protecting the north, I guess. Right. Uh, You know, because if you're in real, like if you were in geopolitics in real life, like if you're actually immersed inside of this world and you are a general, you're someone who's always trying to stay five steps ahead in terms of geopolitics and stuff, you would have to be able to almost predict the future. And we are given a lot of information. You know, we're given more information than a lot of people can see in real life. A lot of times we get to see it on film. So it really is hard to try to guess what's gonna happen guys, because I can see this going in a million different ways. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun watching it. I guess I'm getting invested is what I should say. Yeah, I'm getting super invested too. That guy died. Who? The blonde guy died. The guy who thinks he has claimed to the throne died. Oh, we don't talk about him. Yeah, but like, that's so important, right? Yeah, absolutely. Cause like, is she even gonna try to go across now? Like, who cares, right? The she's way just... I see it, man, is she's been living in her brother's shadow. She's been like, oh, you know, that'd be great. You know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't really know what her ambitions are. They've been, they've made that a little confusing right. thus far, but they seem to be pretty high. But the train of wheels is gone. She is no longer gonna be under his idiocracy. Uh, he seems to be someone who holds her back. Right. You know? He seemed like a little tyrant. He's so. a liability at, at, at best. There's X amount of tyrants in this show, and anytime one is eliminated from the board, it's a good day for me. So <laughs> we got rid of a really terrible character, yeah. in my opinion. He was a great character, whoever that dude is out there, man. You did a great job being in a pissant. Uh, Making us really not like you. <laughs> yeah, you suck, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Awesome job. Good performance. That makes you a good actor when you, we really just don't like you. That's good. They basically like poured the molten lava down the ant hill on this one. So, <laughs> like that was tough. You got anything else you want to add? Nope. I'm ready to get into some more. Uh, you want? We'll be back very soon, guys. We'll get these out and we'll record some more. Let's go.